Welcome back, everybody. This is Lady Dubs, and we're picking up right where we left off. Well, technically, I, on the other hand, got myself my new weapon. As you can see, I'm now pretty in purple. I also went by the dojo and unlocked the moves I need to do. So, without further ado, let's continue onwards. Ooh, magic, it's gone. Ah, uh, itchy ear. Yeah. All right. Now, remember, this is like a game of not... Tag, a catch? I don't know. I just have to keep up with the person ahead of me. Yash pet. The Eastern Forest. The ancient people of Kamu dubbed it Yash pet. It means consuming forest in their ancient language. They say the forest will swallow you up if you lose your way. I said she'd be waiting for us here. I wonder where she is. Oh, it's Waka. Hey, Waka. Hmm? Hi, I'm a Tarotsu. Ah, not that half big, big prophet again. Oh, are you looking for what are you looking for now, Mon Cherie? I'm still looking for you know what. But this cold sure is making it difficult. Like we really care, pretty boy. If you're gonna be dogging our tracks like this. You'd better tell us who you really are! Who oh, I really am? That's right. I mean, we already know that you're up to no good. Excuse me, Ma, but I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just looking for a certain path. You could say I am a seeker of the eternal heavens. Aha! Now I know you're... He now I know why you keep babbling on about the past of the heavens. You're planning a wolf murder. Then you'll take Ami's place in her in heaven. Ooh. Heh heh. By, the, uh, by that look, I take it I've hit the nail on the head. That also explains why you keep turning up wherever we go. A path to the heavens? Bah. More like a highway to you know where. You misunderstand me, my little bouncing friend. The path to the heavens I seek is not a vulgar thing such as that. My path to the heavens slumbers here in the land of Kamu. I seek a heavenly ark. Heavenly ark? That's right. In Kamu, there is a ship of iron locked in ice. I can sense it now. It is almost within my grasp. You two know this, do you not, Amaterasu? Hey, leave Burball out of this. Well, I must bid you adieu. No need for any prophecies this time. Au revoir. He's a wizard. It's the only logical explanation I can think of why he disappears like that. Ooh, I should probably save like while I'm right out of here. Even though I saved recently. Well, no, I did like get the weapon and unlock those moves, so save here. Okay. Hi, Kai. I've been waiting for you, Amaterasu. Did you know the Yosh Pet means consuming forest? It is said that those who lose their way here can never escape. Even the monsters try to avoid the place as much as they can. Our tribe has long entrusted with the protecting this forest. That's why the entrance is sealed with the Ornai Crest. Recently, however, the forest power has been weakening. So it's hard to know what might be awaiting us inside. But if we can make it deep inside the forest, we'll come to a special place. It's a secret place that humans can never reach. Not gonna say anything, Issen. I had something of a connection with the place when I was small. That's why I know the way. Right, Isn't There's a chance that Laika might be there. We're all depending on you, Amaterasu. Well, it's time to begin our expedition into the forest. Run as fast as you can. Are you ready to go? Yes, we are. Let me warn you first. Do not underestimate this forest, okay? The tree pollen here has the power to confuse beasts. 
We Ona can't stay in here long, and I doubt you can either. None of us want to get lost in the blizzard and die out here. So make sure you follow me and don't fall behind. O oh, spirits of the air, earth, and sea, protect us with your divine powers and on off to the races. Now there actually is a stray bead in this forest, but don't worry. Oh wait. Taking that. We need our treasures, man. Yeah, there are treasures and there are beads and there's praise, but do not worry, we can come back to this forest. Ah, being attacked by trees. Trees! Ow! I'm not doing so well. Ah! Fear, fear, I'm afraid. Ah. I want treasure. Okay. Let's go. Come on, Kai. We got this. I don't know why you were panicking. I am ouch. I got hit by a tree. Okay, Kai. We got this. Let's go. This way? Don't worry, Kai. I'll protect you. See, I protected you by doing absolutely nothing. No, I was bait. That's what I was doing. Yeah. Ooh. Holy s -bone. Nice. And I could sell by- Ah, no! I'm stuck. No, I'm not. You know, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. I am stuck. Yes, okay, I'm, at, I'm unstuck. What I was gonna say is that from the corner of my eye, I can see Lady by the door. She wants out, but like I told her many times before, she should not come in here napping when Mama's gonna record. We've been over this, Lady. Which way? This way. Okay. Don't worry, Kai. I believe in you. Oh, trust me, it's far from over. Yeah. Ah, now it's gonna be raining icicles. What is wrong with this forest? Like the demon trees, the weird brambles, and now there's like icicles just dropping from the heavens? Like, Kai, aren't you like a little bit concerned by this? Oh, I guess you've been here a few times. Oh, good, more time. We need it. Oh, good, I thought I, I thought I hit, ouch! Fred, no, get out of the ice on me. Okay, we're almost done. No, we're not. I just, I really want to get the treasure, guys. I'm, I'm a greedy little wolf, what can I say? Ooh, ooh, treasure. Ooh, you see an expensive one. Oh man, if I fall, that's gonna hurt. It's that poison water. Yeah, another thing about this forest, poison water. What the hell? Hit that back at him. Oh, while well, I'm at it. Hey. Ah, you know what, I don't have time for this, ouch. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm, I'm gone, I'm out. Oh, now it's just gonna keep raining icicles, huh? Come on, Kai, keep up. Ugh. Ooh, stray beads. See, I told you there was a stray bead in here. Might actually be another one somewhere in here, too. But I'm not gonna bother looking for that one to this time around. I'll do that another time. There are... You'll have plenty of opportunities to just come back in this forest and just get the goodies. Oh, crud, I forgot this part. Eh. I don't like snowballs. Eh. I, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, I think we're gone. No, we're not done. We're not done. There's more. There's more. Oh, God. Kai, you... I give you credit, Kai. You can move, girl. Ah! ah. I ran right into that one. Oh, no. I ran right into that one, too. All right, Kai. I think we're out. Well, out of this part, at least. Not out of this place. Ooh, time. Take that time with me. Ah, oh, stupid ice. Why doesn't it work? Ouch. You know what? Melt you. Yeah, I'm out of patience, so I just melted it. Ah! I'm slipping and I'm sliding. I want the kudai pottery. Come on. Will you just turn into a good tree? Thank you. I knew you had it in you. Okay, good. Give me more time. I need it. Ah, ice! Uh, why does this forest exist? 
Uh, okay. Steel Soul Saki. Not the best thing, but I'm glad I got it. Kai, please tell me we're nearing the edge. I just... For the love of... Okay, which way, Kai? Following the sign? Okay, we're following the sign. Oh, boy. I don't feel like this was the end. Oh, no, it's a big loading screen. We did it! Oh, thank God. Oh, that was not easy. Here we are. It's been a while since I last been here, so I wonder if I'd make it. You know, after all this time, it hasn't changed one bit. Amaterasu, this place is Yachpit's little secret. Welcome to Punkton, home of the Punkles. I'm sure Isen will tell you a lot more about it. <laughs> anyway, Kemu sense late like us presence here, right? If we don't find her before the day of darkness begins, and she doesn't perform the volcanic incantation, Kamu will freeze over for good. We're really counting on you, Amaterasu. You better get out of here, girl, before you... I don't know, whatever it was that happens to people who come here. Make tree blossom. Make tree blossom. Not windy blossom. Thank you. And feed the bunnies. Bunnies need food. I think there might be some more bunnies around here. Or deer. Oh, I hear piggies. Yeah, piggies! Here you go, piggies! Good piggies. Well, boar. Well, aren't boar just like the male version of pigs? I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's deers. Ah, that's wind again. There we go. And feed my little friends here. And yeah. Excellent. All right, I believe now we can move on. This place hasn't changed a bit. Nami, the Pongo Village, Punkton, is this in this tree stump. Too bad you're so big. I'm sure you'd like to go in there and chat up with the locals. Oh, what is this? Our old friend Lucky Mallet. Hey, isn't that? Yeah! It's the Lucky Mallet! What's it doing here? Don't tell me it wants you wants to repay you for your Don't tell me it wants to repay you for its kindness. Who knew tools could be so loyal? I guess you could visit Pongton if you were smaller. Well, Furball, you gonna go in or what? Wanna enter? Yes I do. Really? Well, I suppose you could ask the villagers about Laika. But you'll have to go by yourself. I ain't going in there. This slick helmet of mine could get ruined in such a gloomy place. This will be like the one spot where you can't be with Issen. And I am saddened by it. And loading, yeah! Punk, I don't know if I'm saying this right, punk ton. That's how I'm just gonna be saying it, because I don't know what else to say. And has the mu Isn's theme music to it, listen. Yeah. All right, let's just do a quick save since like, you know, we're in a new place. There we go. All right, time to explore punk ton. Vines! I don't remember. I think there's a beat somewhere in here. I'm fairly confident there is. Uh, gotta be careful. Don't want to fall in the water. Hey, kid. Hotaru. Wow! We don't usually get animals here. Treat? Uh, you sound too much like Issen, man. 
the trees. I don't know, I guess okay, it could be a bit of an innocent voice. Oh, I click the enter button. Most animals and monsters stay away because they don't like it. We're lucky because it's kept our village safe over the years. There have been more monsters on the prowl lately, though. They're starting to come deeper and deeper into the forest. They're a bit small for a wolf and have some strange markings. But you don't seem to be a bad wolf, which is all, all that counts. Yeah, you can see our markings, unlike the humans, because they're punkles. Punkles can see it. Humans evidently can't unless they believe hard enough. Or like, I guess they're like some sort of chosen one, because I think Susano could see it right away. All right, let's go on ahead and dig up some glowies. No, dig it this way. Come on, okay, lady just climbed up behind my chair. Yeah, you not happy with me right now, little girl? She's not happy with me right now. And she jumped down. I, I cannot tell you how many times, like, I'm in the middle of a game, just casually, and she'll just jump behind the chair and scare the Evelyn crap out of me. Okay, she went under the bed. We're good. Hey, sweet pea. Mia. Oh, you're a bit small for a wolf, aren't you? And it looks like you're wearing some kind of strange makeup. You're the first visitor in this village who isn't a Ponko. My name's Mia. Pleased to meet you. Well, I guess Maya is your name, not Mia. Ponko girl, Maya. You know, there was a lost child in the forest the other day. She wandered even deeper into the forest and disappeared through the spirit gate, looking almost possessed. Do tell me more, Maya. The spirit gate is a relic that lies deeper inside the forest. It's the strange gate that takes you to another place and another time. But people say that opening the gate invites misfortune. We Ponkles always make sure we steer clear of it. But when I saw the girl wandering deeper into the forest, I decided to follow because I was worried about her. I saw the gate open the moment she stood before it. And then it was like she'd been swallowed up. Do you think I should tell the Elder about this, Wolfie? I, I think you should, Maya. I think you should. I mean, I can't. I'm a wolf. I don't have the ability to speak. Alright, let's keep looking around. Oh, there it is. I can't read that sign because it's in Japanese, so let's just make something up. It says... Woodland. Done. Genius. Hey, how you doing, bro? What an unusual customer. Say, you're a god, aren't you? We hardly see any here these days. Listen up, god wolf. I collect things I find in the forest. It's sort of a hobby. Do you want to play shop with me? It's a pretty serious game. Yeah, I'd love to play shopping with you. What you got? Oh my god, you have a big sword. I cannot afford that. Are you kidding me? Well, you know what? I'm glad I have my beads. My beads are better in my mind. That's all that matters. I I'll come back for you another time, Eighth Wonder Sword. God, I kind of hate you, though, dude. Aha! And also, I just broke your place because I'm mad. I really just love the happy music here. Oh, hey, this dude that had corn on his head. Who knew? Hey, you're a wolf. How did you manage to get into the village? Huh. It must be fun playing about outside. I wish I could, but I have to practice painting the whole time. All of us here are given lessons by the village elder, Ishaku. He can be really strict sometimes. I've got a long way to go before I become a great artist. If only I could paint like Issa, then I'd be able to help the gods. Really now, do you say anything different? A Ponko called Issun used to live here, and boy, he could paint. He was the grandson of the village elder. So he had painting lessons every single day, but the elder was too hard on him. He never praised his grandson, no matter how well he painted. One day, Issun decided he'd had enough. He and the elder had a big fight, and he left the village for good. 
And that is the history of Isten, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I love these things. <laughs> they look like they're statues because they're tiny. So yeah, Isten, this was his home. His grandfather was the elder, but his grandfather was too hard on him. So he left. He became a wandering artist. So when uh, Waka was talking smack about him not being a good artist, there's no truth to that. Isten is a great artist. That guy even said he was the best one in the village. And he was drilled rigorously in painting lessons to help the gods. Now I know what that means, but I don't think you know what that means, so I'm gonna let the game tell you what that means later. And I'm just gonna also wander around a bit and take their goodies. Because what else am I gonna do? Be nice and charitable? Yeah, right. I'm a goddess. I don't have to do that. You're supposed to be nice to me. Whee! Gee, what's in here? There's a lot of nice treasures in here, I gotta say. Ooh, it's pretty when you look up. Uh, yeah, we can just... I don't have to jump. I can just use this. Whee! Treasure chest! Yeah, here's a stray bead. Okay. If I go to that one, I'm gonna have to immediately find the next one, it seems. Okay, let's do this. Where's the other one? Where is it? Oh, there! I'm saved! Not for long, though. Okay, one more. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, crud! Oof! Okay. And... Not a straight beat, but etched glass is pretty valuable. Now, how do I get back? I gotta backtrack, don't I, to get back? Aw, oh, man. Oh, wait, no! I can get back with that! Yeah! Play smarter, not harder. How you dudes doing? Hold it right there! Are you some kind of wolf? You can't be an ordinary wolf if you got into Pompton like this! We demand that you introduce yourself! You're really one with words on me. That's weird. We can usually understand animals. I have no idea what's going on inside this wolf's head. But this strange makeup and divine instrument looks so... I have a feeling I've seen them before somewhere, too. Yeah, yeah, where do you think you've seen it before? Come on, tell me. Come on. Oh, hold it right there. I remember where I recognize you from. You look like the wolf in the scroll at the old Ishaku's house. Does that mean you're a friend of our chief Ishaku? Yeah, <laughs> Bart, yes. I thought so. Then I suppose we'd better let you in. This is the home of Ishaku, chief of the punkles. He's resting inside at the moment. Please go on in. He's, a, he's old and has become quite weak. His eyes are, are pr particularly bad, so keep that in mind. Make sure you don't give him any trouble. Oh god, doing that voice was hard. I have a Gatorade behind my computer. I'm gonna take it soon. Hmm? Hmm? I recognize that spell. Who's there? Ah, oh, so cute that she barks. No, it can't be. But, but I know that bark anywhere. You must be... Uh, Ami? Ah, uh, Ami! It is you! When you departed this world after that brutal battle, I never imagined I would see you again. My eyes have started to fail me in my old age, but... But I can sense it. I can sense the tears in your eyes trying to hide, trying to hide the tears in your eyes, too. Yes, very emotional. Yes. Go on ahead and ignore me. That's the army I know. I don't, I don't know how you managed to make yourself so small. <coughs> Excuse me, I just really need a drink after that. One moment. Ugh, got my, got my Gatorade. Ah. 
Yeah, doing that high-pitched voice was not smart. Okay. But the rudeness of you yours leaves me no doubt of who you are. Isn't that great? My rudeness helps him remember me. I'm no longer the young boy you remember me as, Ami. I've grown to become the leader of Punkton. Yes, I am the legendary swordsman, Ishaku. He actually is wearing armor. Legendary swordsman, Ishaku, self-proclaimed. <laughs> I've gone up in the world since we last met, wouldn't you say? Yes, she does say. You can give me that look, but I know you're impressed. But really, I'm sensing something about you that worries me. Your divine power has weakened considerably. I assume you haven't retrieved all 13 of them yet, have you? Things have certainly changed since we last fought together. People no longer have faith in the gods like they used to. So I suppose it's only to be expected that you're weaker now. It's sad to see you without your old strength. But let me tell you straight, Ami, in your current state, you can't possibly fight off the powers of darkness. Oh, she's very upset that you said that, sir. So tell me, don't you have a companion traveling with you this time? Oh, yes, she does. She's telling you very simply. Is that a no? Oh, excuse me. Is that a no? You, you mean you came all this way alone? I wasn't expecting to see you with anyone in particular, mind you. Uh, oh, well. Never mind. It's no big deal. Ami, I'm sure you already know this, but... In your current state, you can't defeat the ruler of darkness. We Ponkles always knew that darkness would come one day. That's why we've been training to be celestial envoys. You seem to have forgotten absolutely everything. Celestial envoys are the messengers of the gods. The gods cannot live on unless people believe in them. We Ponkles are the only ones who can communicate with the gods. And we train as artists to teach the world their divine power. Then, only the very best of us are chosen to be are chosen to be given the honor. The honor of being named a celestial envoy. I was the sixth celestial envoy when I traveled with you. But I'm old now, and I'm not as strong as I used to be. So I decided to take everything that I've learned and teach it to my people. I've been very strict, but it's paid off. Now almost all of them have what it takes to be a celestial envoy. So, Ami, take a look around the village and talk to them. It's up to you to decide who will be your seventh celestial envoy. Whoever you choose will accompany you on your journey. Their amazing paintings will show the world your divine power. If people believe in you, your powers are sure to return. Then, and only then, Will you be able to defeat the darkness? What is it? In depth question there, Ami. Oh, ignoring me again, are you? It doesn't matter. I can tell what you're thinking anyway. You're thinking about the spirit gate, aren't you? Only a fool would be interested in something like that. That lonesome gate invites misfortune, I tell ya. If you open it, you'll be engulfed in a vile, sinister air. There's no reason in the world you'd ever need to open it. Anyway, it can't be opened without my trusty sword, Denjinamaru. Never mind that. How's your search for Celestial Envoy going? It must be hard to choose with all the talent here. Yes, quite, quite right there, Ami, I agree. What? Is there something you want to tell me? Just for the record, I don't have a grandson anymore. That no good rascal gave up on his training and ran away with one of my treasured paintings. He's no longer a grandson of mine. I've washed my hands of him. Aw, oh, that's sad, dude. You're thinking about- oh yeah, just, he's just gonna tell us about the spirit gate again. Uh, can I just skip this? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of sad. 
<laughs> Between Issen and his grand grandfather. Wait, I think I just got like a prompt thing? I don't know. But yeah, so Issen and his grandfather really had a bad falling out, it seems. Oh man, there's still some more to look around here in the Ponko Village, though, as you can see. Alright, well, I guess I'll just finish up the Ponko Village in the next video, and then we'll move on to the next part. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching. Later!